Squish, squish, squish. What's that sound? That's the sound of me stepping on the cockroaches. I want to do this early update. Just checking the market. Stocks are up. Yes, I, I stepped on a lot of cockroaches yesterday. A lot. Okay. Um, so yeah, we got a we got a nice bounce going on here in the S and P's. Things are looking good for those of you who are in gold, which is uh, seeing a little bit of selling today. Listen, the fiscal flows very strong. You got to be patient on this. Believe me, you got to be patient on this. Uh, ultimately, uh, this will resolve to the upside. This gold move. You got a lot of zombies who are selling because the Fed might raise interest rates. A quarter of a point in December. Oh my God, it's the end of the world. It's the end of the world, folks. So uh, we got to get rid of those guys anyway. The Druckenheimers, the Soroses, the Kundlachs. Get rid of all of them. And the rest of the zombies and the mousy boys and the stop losers. Oh, Mike, you made me lose so much money. I got stopped out. You made me lose so much money, I got stopped out. We don't use stops, okay? Stops are, you've been told. You've been, and you read in a book somewhere, you know? You've been told, so you said, that's doctrine. I have to use stops. Why? Somebody told me. It's the prudent thing to do. All right, just keep doing that, all right? Uh, just an interesting article as I was doing my morning research here. The guy who, who, uh, created that uh, twenty in 2010, we had a flash crash in the stock market. It sent the Dow down plummeting like a thousand points in, in like 10 minutes. I didn't know this, but they, they caught that guy and he's being extradited to the United States. The guy is, he's done, man. He's done. So a couple of comments I want to make on this. Uh, first of all, the guy was some little guy trading out of his parents' house on his computer he had some program which somehow kind of rigged the markets and fooled the, the markets into generating these massive sell orders. Um, so, you know, this is the world we live in right now, unfortunately, with all this computer-generated uh, uh, trading and stuff like that. But this guy, two points I want to make. Number one, he's a cockroach, right? Because the only way these negative people can kind of... Uh, uh, you know, manifest their, their displeasures uh, is by trying to crash the stock market. That's all they think about, right? And it's like the people here, the what ifs. What if it goes down tomorrow? What if it, yeah, it's up, it's up 300%, it's up threefold since uh, 2009. What if it goes down tomorrow? So the losers and the stop losers and the what ifs and the cockroaches, they're just... They're using their brain power to create programs just to crash the market. But, you know, over time, it just keeps going up. So they're the big losers, number one. Number two, isn't it interesting? This little guy, you know, who created basically a 30-minute, uh, some 30-minute turmoil, which I'm not condoning at all, okay? I think it's despicable. But this guy is indicted on, what, 22 counts of fraud, manipulation, market rigging, all this stuff. He's being extradited to the United States. He's facing criminal charges. The guy's probably going to be sent away to prison for years and years and years. Yet the bankers who crashed the entire global economy, all right, and who admitted to fraud, just openly, and yeah, we did it, we did it, how much we got to pay. Not a single one of them went to jail. So it just shows you the, uh, the total uh, inequity and the, the injustice of, uh, you know, the system. And I'm sure I don't have to, you know, I'm sure I don't have to tell that to you. You probably already know you're aware of it. But, you know, it, it really points out and shines a light on the total injustice of, of the system and the kind of um, massive, massive inequality. of the, You know, you have those who can do whatever they want. The Goldmans, the uh, J.P. Morgans. The HSBCs commit fraud, money laundering, uh, you know, tax evasion, market manipulation, rigging, all this kind of shit. And nothing happens if you have some little guy trading out of his parents' house and he's going down. He is going down. So really unbelievable.
All right, that's my update for now. See you guys later. Bye-bye.